I never thought I'd be saying this, but today we're analysing a wolf. You may think I've lost my marbles. I have, but that's another story. So, I'm going to try and replicate the now PGA Tour winner, Matt Wolf's unorthodox golf swing, with the assistant of Golf Box Academy's Nick Devoin. You have got no hope. Thanks for the encouragement, mate. <laughs> so, the former Oklahoma State golfer's swing came under a bit, under a bit of fire prior to his first PGA Tour win, but in true wolfy fashion, he did silence those critics. So a student of GG Swing Tips, if you don't follow GG on social media, you are missing out. I put the links down below. But the thing I appreciate more from GG is the fact that Wolf's gone to him, instead of trying to change him to a bear, he's tried to turn him into a pack leader. So let's break down Wolf's swing, including his dance move. <laughs> this is fantastic, I've nailed that. The thing is, like any other PGA Tour player, from here through the ball, it's almost identical. Exactly. It is like the, well, the best players in the world. It's what happens above this line where things start to get very interesting. It starts with the dance move, the twist and shout. So it's a bend and then like a sneaky look. Nick, what happens after that? Okay, this is when we shift into something that probably isn't normal and it's very different in a sense, but when you're taking it away, you'll see that he really shuts the face. But the big thing is here is his hands don't go away from his body, so he stays really connected. As we'd say, right hand's king of the castle, it is on top of the left hand. And then from here, this kid is rather flexible. More flexible than me, for sure. Swings to the top, he manages to get to this right elbow up. The left heel comes off the ground and that allows him to get excessive rotation from the hip. <laughs> but that's where it's very much an athletic move in his takeaway. Yeah. That move there is what really opens him up and gets him across the line at the top of his backswing. It's when it transitions that it gets really, really interesting. The left foot plants back down onto the ground real hard. Can't, can't move. <laughs> that's me stuck. Bye. <laughs> So now we're at the top of the backswing, the elbow's flared, the hips rotate and the left foot's off the ground. Now he needs to ground and pound, so he's going to push that left heel down into the ground, which is going to get him into a deep squat, uh -oh. and then he's going to rotate hard out, and that's going to produce some ridiculous speed and power. So Gigi was saying he's never seen power like this from a vertical standpoint. So at impact with this leg stomp, it's almost a push straight up. And if you keep doing this, like boom, Boom, you end up with a backside like Brad Pitt. Right, I think the best thing to do is me hit a few shots with my stock standard swing, yep. but it looks like pond water. So don't try this at home. I think that's fair to say. Don't try and replicate this because number one, you'll probably get an injury. Number two, you'll start swinging completely like yeah, fettuccine. Yeah, breaking, yeah. Your breaking your ankles. It's really not worth it, but I've got nothing to lose because my swing is quite simply I'll, I'll swing. <laughs> I'll swing. Right, let's have a go. Right, so this is an M67 iron. All right, the big thing there with Alex and what he has in common with Mr. Wolf is the fact that he does return on or inside the plane coming forward. So that's where he does produce a fair bit of power himself. Yes, um, but we've also got a PGA Tour win under a belt because I won on Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. <laughs> But besides that, that's where the similarities very much stop. Yes. <clears throat> two out of two. Whew. So, as this is really a visual test, yes. trying to get it to look side by side, very similar, we've got 202 meters to beat. So, if we can. <laughs> Two and two is pretty impressive, I must say. <laughs> if we can generate some more power, maybe get a little bit more ball speed with this <laughs> twist and shout. <laughs> twist and shout, can we progress on 202? That is a question. So, right. I have did to... have a go with this earlier, didn't I? I was going to say, you're going to have to rehearse this a this few is, times before. Especially after your own swing, it's rather difficult. So, so first move again, remember twist and shout. Twist and shout. So it's d d Right hand on castle. King of the castle. 
but you forget to lift your foot. Yes. You... Okay, so first of all, let's talk about twist and shout. I Make sure that. it's there. That's the bit I've got. The rest of it is not there yet. <laughs> okay, so twist and shout. I didn't there we look. go. Now here's the big <laughs> difference here. All right, and we can see here from Al's takeaway that he hasn't really got that club outside the line like he should. We need to get that club more into an area over here, but his hands have been in a good position there. So then from there, we need to get that right elbow flayed out, that hip rotated around, and that left heel off the ground. Across the line though, does that count? Sort of across the line, so I'll, I'll give you that one. But Thanks, then mate. if we highlight this, one out of five. you can see. Is the heel up? The heel's not up. We need to get that heel up. Come so on. One out of five. Oh Let's dear. try again. I've got to really emphasise that. I get cramp every time I do it though. <laughs> Give us some magnesium. Oh! I think that swing would look better. Just the strike wasn't there. Oh! All right, we'll give that three out of five now. Okay, so slightly across the plane. Yeah. Elbow into a better position. Now we've got to see it. That stomp. The big thing here now is what Matt Wolf does is the massive stomp down into the ground, which Sort of takes away that reverse pivot look about himself. There's the stomp. There's see, the squat. See, I'm, my middle name should be called Reroot because I've done it for my whole entire life. That was absolutely nuked. <laughs> that, that's so far away from mine. Two, that's beat my own. That has beat yours. But uh, the swing probably doesn't look any different. Come on, give us some. All right, let's have a look. What, three out of five have got to be? Foot's off the ground, Ooh, outside. That's Not outside. Bad. Nice outside. Tick, tick. Elbow, get the elbow up. Get the elbow up. Mm, <laughs> close. Oh, no cigar, but close. Foot's up. But good ground and pound. Good squat action. Thanks, mate. Look at that boom. <laughs> and the big thing there, good vertical action. I thought you could say good Brad Pitt bottom. <laughs> It definitely feels faster. <laughs> it's just a vertical leg. It, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's like that. That's gone 209. That's got 106 club head speed. Now, and I think that's the big thing that you've got to look out of here. That ground and pound is what gives Mr. Wolf that big, huge vertical extension through impact. And you can see you really spring up yeah. Yeah. through the shot. One thing's for sure, you're starting to really get that left heel up and you're starting to I get can the feel ground. it. I've got yeah, like you're a getting that ground and much pound. bigger hammy to my left, left and my right. <laughs> oh, Forrest Gump. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not that high, but that's what you've got to feel. <laughs> that felt like wolf. Okay, so again here we're looking at it. Getting a little bit more outside the plane. Face is shut, which is what a big thing is of Wolfie through that P1 position through there, like GG Swing Tips always talks about. Again, left heel off the ground. Better elbow position there That's at the better top. better elbow position. Much Look at that stud. better elbow position. Now we're into that crucial move of ground and pound. There goes the heel down to the ground, gets ourselves into a good squat. And then from there, massive vertical rotational move into the ball. Last one. I need to go get my spine realigned. <laughs> Al, we have been forgetting one crucial thing. What? The waggle. We haven't been doing the waggle. Now this is going to really throw me. The whole dance we've been talking about, we haven't actually done in <laughs> any of it. We haven't done the dance once. Right, left, back. Right. <laughs> <left>. <laughs> right. No, right. Right. Left. That's right. it. Left, right. Stop it. <laughs> oh my! That would look. That would look nothing like it. That felt mint again. That is absolutely nuked. I can only dream of hitting it that far. Left. <laughs> no one can hit a stock seven eye that far left. Right. Left. Look at that. And just remember, when you're seeing this right-left business, it's more of a trigger for right. him to start swinging. Take the back swing. Ooh, we're outside and closed. This could be it. 
Heels off the ground. Oh my come goodness. On, come on, come on. Get that elbow up. Get the elbow up. Oh, there's a cross. I've done it. He's done it. <laughs> ground and pound. Ground and pound. Oh, bad. Can we somehow play that real time and we'll superimpose Wolfie's swing and see if it looks anything like side by side? I don't think that's a million miles away. So do you think I've got any chance of being on the tour with Wolfie Swing? It's probably something that I wouldn't be trying to do. Like GG Swing Tip says, it is very much an athletic move and belongs to Mr. Wolf. So if I do this all day at home, you might get it. You might become a better dancer <laughs> than a golfer. What's this guy doing? Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. No. Stick to my own, unfortunately. Definitely stick to your own. So that's really it, guys. Um, I think the end of the verdict is don't try and copy somebody else's. This is definitely one of a kind. Mr. Wolf, great PGA Tour win, silence of critics. Make sure you go and follow Nick on the Golf Box Academy. Please, guys, it'll be great. We'll see you at the Academy and we'll help you with your golf swing. And of course, hit subscribe, comment below if you have any other questions. Thank you very much.